Hello there, I'm another Magento dev. I want to go through using Grunt effectively. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know. I'm a big Gulp fanboy and I normally just get rid of Grunt or I don't even switch it on. It's difficult to get started with it, I think, in Magento. I've been following, well, basically, beginning of the week I got given a project to work on that had exclusively used Grunt for its operations and its compilation of, of less CSS. Now usually I use SCSS in a gulp theme, there's no reason why I can't use less in a in a gulp theme but I use SCSS in a gulp theme and I do all my compilation in the theme and then I just build and it's just nice and easy. And I, and I can see where everything is. That's why I favour gulp and I still favour gulp. But I've learnt a lot about Grunt um, this week and piecing together all the information on the internet I thought I'd put together a bit of a tutorial to sort of say look these are this is the easiest way to get started with Grunt and then feel your way through it and and um, I'm, I'm gonna cover a couple of errors that I was getting that didn't seem to have any explanation online that could have been down to I think my specific setup using MAMP that could have been down to that but I think the last comment on one of them on a stack overflow was like um, April this year so when you see that um, you know that uh, with, with no responses so when you see that you know that you've got you've got some work to do and you're gonna have to figure things out yourself where how, how to get started with Grunt now there is extensive documentation out there uh, Magento does have some decent docs on Grunt um, and how to get it set up for, for less compilation in the theme now it, it for me they're not detailed enough the big order that you have to do things I think that's what gets left out and what the important the importance of some of the steps is because that's something else that I've learned like you can't skimp and skip on on any of the on any of the steps because you do get errors I'm gonna get you started um because you might be in the same situation where someone's gonna give you a theme and say yeah I work on this and you ain't got any choice but to uh, but to use native um, magento processes like grunt how do you start well magento comes with a grunt config file down here and a grunt javascript file and the and, and it's just a task runner file so the javascript's one down here and the grunt file points to a directory which is buried um, helpfully in dev tools grunt configs now this is my first protocol now this is my first protocol now I'd, I'd come into here and I'd look for themes now this is my theme now I've, I've had problems with pointing this to another directory. You know, if you was going to do a custom version, uh, it, it comes pointed to local themes, for example, which doesn't exist. So I created it, um, and then I put my, my sort of configuration in there, and it didn't work as well. It didn't work as well in, co in tandem with the other themes, particularly if you're using like Luma with, uh, or Blank, which I highly recommend you do when using Less and Grunt, uh, particularly when you're using those as like base themes. Um, it seemed like the ordering was all wrong and I was getting errors with variables for things like colours and fonts which existed up the chain but my theme wasn't detecting and short of just including all them less files in my theme there seemed to be no other way around it and I think I've hit the sweet spot now uh, in terms of being able to sort of uh, get, get control of the order of, of where these run so what I would advise first of all tip number one don't extend and add a new uh, JavaScript file. Just slot your theme in at the bottom of all the other themes there. So you've got blank, Luma, and and I'm calling that less child. Another thing, make sure it's lowercase. It kicks up a right stink if these things are, if, if basically, you notice like the default Magento ones are. Now, you might notice in my other tutorials, um, when I'm using, uh, when I'm working on this site particularly, I've just changed the theme. Um, my other, my other themes are just you know syntactically called Luma underscore child like but that does it doesn't like it it it, it does it seems to um, give me errors when I'm loading on the when I load up on the front end yeah I get errors on the front end if I've not if I've not just kept the naming convention nice and simple lowercase and one um, and all one word uh, so that's that's the first thing is get that get that correct in there. Now, the next thing is understanding, a little bit of understanding of what Magento does, 
um, when when you're running grunt and the different sort of commands and also the order in which you run the commands. So I'm going to go through that now. One other thing that which I need to mention is that you need to run npm install. An npm install will, I won't run it because I already have, will install your node modules folder in the root um, and it uses the package JSON here um, to install all the areas of grunt that you know is going to be used so that that's one thing to make sure it seems to work with 10 and above node just as uh, i think i'm running um oh that's npm sorry i'm running node uh, i'm running node 14 so and it, it seems to work okay so 10 and above i'd probably advise uh, switching to if you are already the next thing to note is that it, it's important the order in which you you run these uh, commands and Grunt clean first. Now grunt clean simply removes caches for one. So it removes the var, it cleans out the var cache and the var pre-processed. Um, it also, I think it's done it there, yeah you can see the output here. So it removes removes the pub and I think this is the most important part. It removes all your static content you see, so front end is now empty. Run the next command, grunt exec and then if you say up oh, grunt exec and then you say your theme name so mine was uh, less child i'll show you what it does now what this does here <coughs> is it creates sim links to your less files that are in your theme so i've just got a test theme here look with just one less file um here extend with a background color in it for testing and then a styles dot less link into that source folder and this is important actually as well this folder structure is important within your theme when using less and this processing um, web css source folder with all your components and then an outline sort of um, collection folder at the end I've called this styles you can call it anything you want um, but I'd, I'd sort of go for styles uh, right this error when I've run grunt exec now what's happened here is nothing and this is something that I think might have been down to my environment so anybody else on MAMP um, you're gonna need to do this this might also occur on valid I'm not sure but you can it depends on what permissions PHP has to run and from where so the, essentially what I found out is this here dev source theme this is the command in the background that creates the sim links so you can actually see it so I found it so if I do a search for and this is where it was falling down so what's supposed to happen is see my front end not been generated so what's supposed to happen is those sim links are supposed to be created in there and they're not it's not getting that far it's 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 aborting so if i just jump into my dev folder or my tools folder and i do a quick search for that there you can see what it's doing here so as part of in the file called combo.js as part of grunt exec and then your theme name look it's running php vim magento dev source deploy and then it's telling it type less where the area and the fit and the actual theme as well which is what is specified here so it's grabbing these details here um and applying them to this now i thought to myself well what, what why isn't it getting this far and i can run this separately like it won't give me the namespace error so this is basically you get this namespace error when you run a command you've probably seen it before if you run a command from the wrong folder you know you don't run it from your root or you run it when you've got the wrong version of php installed or something like that you'll get um you'll get a, there's no commands defined in this namespace so if i run that there i'm not gonna because it'll screw things up but it will run so this is how i got around it and this hopefully will help people so if you do which php you get your path directly to PHP. You might have had to do this on a server before for cron jobs, and the reason's probably very similar, and I don't know the technical reason why, but if I update this foot this file to look directly for the version of PHP that I use on command line rather than just using the alias almost of PHP, then I run exec less child. There, it's done it. And what has it done? Right, well you can see here. 
it's sim linked actual less files in my static content. Now this isn't going to be enough for me to load the front end of the site as you probably know. I need the rest of the static content in there. So no docs or no process that I've seen covers this in, in any meaningful way. But simply run and run it for all themes and all languages and all sort of areas um, you can specify but simply run static content. And what that does is it then intersects all of your static content with these sim links. It doesn't clear the sim links. Okay, while this is running, another thing that I found important, and it's in the Magento docs, is adding all of the references that you would normally find in any of the Luma or Blank themes to your theme. And that seems to, and this is sort of, I haven't got enough experience with this particular process to guarantee this, but that seems to stop any of the um, less variable errors. You know, if there's a variable up the chain for a font type or a colour, or, a, you know, in, it, it, you get a lot of colours in a underscore modules less, and, and you've got a lot of variables basically up the chain. And having that specified in your theme, that those values do exist up the chain. Now, the theme that I received the other day, had all kinds of SCSS, uh, all kinds of less files imported directly into the theme. Uh, I would not advise doing that. The main reason that that, that had happened is the theme that I inherited, the, the, the site that I inherited, that, that basically removed any parenting. So it was not a child theme. And I'm in the process of making, giving it a parent basically. It was a, it was a poor little orphan. So basically, that's, that's another important part. Don't skip that step. Make sure that your theme has that. Um, you could probably test it with and without and see what joy you get, but I was getting a massive error on the front end when I was doing client side compilation, which I'll come on to next. Um, but, uh, regarding a, a font instance, um, and there was nothing on the internet about it, nothing on Stack Overflow, and I believe it's something to do with the knock-on effect of them variables not being present, you know, with it being a, an error regarding a font. Um, and it was just white screen in my front end. So that's built out now. And I'm just gonna refresh my front end and this is like a version of uh, still got some modules and so then it's come back um, and then I suppose the final thing to set or to be to be to be aware of is the compilation settings so you see here we've got currently set workflow type server side less compilation or you can have client side less compilation um, we'll just test it on server side first I believe this works, if not we'll try and change it. Um, so, the final command you're going to run, really, and the, the, the only command then you're going to need once you've got it set up, so remember, ex uh, grunt clean, grunt exec in your theme, then also grunt watch, which you can imagine, watches for changes, there. Um, See that changed. Now the eagle eyed among you among you will notice that I've got live reload on there and it didn't live reload. And this is the best thing about this grunt is um let's just refresh that. Is that it works natively with Chrome Live Reload, the one that I've uh, I've talked about before and I've used and I use with my other um types of themes, my gulp themes. Is it works natively there you go so I just had to restart it so essentially once you do get a hang of it and this is pretty decent this is using server side compilation and you can see what it's doing now because of those sim links in the source files it's telling me and it this is pretty good for debugging to be honest it tells you exactly which file um, you work it you know to be able to find out exactly which file the variable is has been changed in so it's pretty good as a CSS uh, workflow once you get set up um, but it, as I say it just took me ages to get to get set up and it's uh, it's fairly quick I mean my Mac is panting a little bit uh, but for those of you that prefer less and 
don't like having gulp in the theme and don't like having to sort of do it in the theme uh, this is obviously the way Magento kind of recommends you know handle it handle it with care because it, it does seem to come with uh, there's, there's the odd error particularly on older sites I think yeah just a quick quick look at grunt uh, so hey you might as well you might as well know it all there eh? you might as well be able to use gulp and grunt and understand the differences and the benefits of, of either um, I just think gulp I've got more flexibility and I just understand it a little bit more oh that was enjoyable helpful um, any questions comments like and subscribe and uh, have a good one